we're going to stop this cost surface when we reach negative 1748566.639 comma 4815502.73859 okay this is all good the lambda value is 1 which means it's just normal walking attributes and then we will click on run okay now we can watch the progress over here in the output there it was reading the topple map here it's reading the friction map which was the slope I'll actually make this bigger so you can see more of what's happening okay now we'll go back we'll add another raster walk cost surface redraw the layers and there now is the cost surface for the walking time now the next thing that we need to do is actually do the path function and for that we'll slip back into QGIS so there, that gives you a little bit of an idea of how it is to work in grass. So we will file exit. We will also exit from here to close the map set. Okay. And then we will, whoops, wrong one. We will bring QGIS back up. Now we will open the grass map set. Okay. And we will load the new surface okay we will give it a nice color yeah zoom in a little bit so that we can all right next what we're going to do is open up the grass toolkit we're going to use a feature called r.drain. Now this is actually a function, a module that allows you to pick the flow of water according to the map. However, if you've created the surface, cost surface with r.walk, you'll actually find the most efficient walking route between two points. Okay, so again we're going to go to raster and then r.drain. If we want to know more about r.drain, we can click on manual and see exactly what everything does, how it works, and how to use it. Okay. So the existing raster map with the cost surface, yeah, and we will call this path between airports. Now we need to know the east and north coordinates and because I didn't think to write them down before we have to do them now. We can't see the airports because this path is on top so we're going to move that up and now we can see. So we will hover and I want you to keep your eyes on this down here so in this instance now actually I think I better go like that
Is this the grass? Yeah, it is the grass one. Okay, good. Pan down a little bit. Um, okay, we'll try this. And that doesn't give us the coordinates. So we will have to remember negative 1584 964 And then we will go to the other airport. Which is negative one seven four five two one four four eight zero nine six six eight. Okay, and then we will click on run. Okay, we can then immediately view the output. And there is the most efficient walking route as with respect to time between these two airports based on the topography of the land. We will get rid of this cost surface. Now, one of the things that this that becomes very clearly evident as soon as you see this is that there is a river involved and it has not taken into effect into account the fact that these rivers are being crossed which is obviously quite problematic. There are ways around this and they will be discussed in another module.